Good afternoon. Today I want to step in and include some specifics that were left out due to lack of positioning the last video. I'm going to start off with a grounding exercise that you want to do anywhere between a foot, shoulder length, feet apart, knees slightly bent, relaxed, back as straight as possible, neck, I'm going to start off with the slightly bent hands relax, shake it on out. Inhale in the nose slowly, starting from the lower chakra area, the sacral. You want to work it on up with your inhale to here, hold, on up and beyond. And then hands up, pressed toward the ceiling. Rising on your toes a bit. Then you want to exhale after a three to five second pause. When you inhale in the nose, you're allowing the air to come in and down, relax. Your chest is not expanding. The air is building, collecting, dropping, and cooling in this area. After you pause for three to five seconds at the full point of your inhale, is when you start to exhale, relax, and slowly out the mouth in that exercise. Monitor and keep your breathing the same way throughout your day. Now, not many different times you can achieve it within a day. You know, it's a bit more energy, stamina, and the ability to keep from exerting yourself in a short bit of time because you've already got oxygen slash energy stored up. You have a good afternoon. Sorry I couldn't make it lengthier, but I guess I could. It all depends. Turn it sideways here. We can free under the constitution. And so I like to do push-ups here and there. I feel it. That's one of the last things left in my work. Y'all so bear with me with the raggedy equipment. Today we have a special guest. This chair is going to help us out. A lot of people with back injuries, you might think it's the contrary, but elevating your legs is a good thing. So even though you can't see my upper half now, you will soon. Bear with me. You want to utilize Mr. Chair here mm -hmm. to support the weight of your legs. As long as you can maintain a plank, contract your abs about 10%, and stabilize with the arms, shoulders, and not strain the neck, You'll be able to pull off some simple things like what I'm about to show you. Build up to it. Once you get to it, work on your reps as usual. Five at a time, one to three at a time. We all start somewhere. I always wonder why they always say remove jewelry before working out. And so you won't have to take it off before you do it unless you don't want it and you break it. And if you can find them, Get you some decent gloves that offer some wrist report, wrist support, or allow you to have at least some type of surface protection for a lot of what you do. I know some guys are professionals, you don't want your hands to be scarred up. So that when you step out, you can do your pretty boy thing, but other guys prefer the conditioning. Uh, I'm in between, I'm recovering. I'm just trying it a different way than the usual. But you want to basically support both knees taking a lot of strain off of your back, even off of your knees. You rise up on the ball of your foot a bit, and you support 90% of your body weight on your calves. You maintain that in this posture for anywhere to five, seven minutes, as deep as you choose. And hold. You're stretching, relaxing the quads, lower back, maintain the posture, and you're stretching part of the muscles here in your shins, allowing them to rest, 
They do a lot of the work that people don't give them credit for. Legs are a foundation, so you know, to properly stretch them out, like I say, prevents injuries, promotes proper muscle growth and flexibility. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and show a few of these examples. I've incorporated part of my workout with part of my relaxing regimen, which allow me to meditate while in motion and other times to meditate when not in motion to control spasms, to basically allow me to avoid things like muscle spasms and cramps, and also allow me to experience more anaerobic workout while not in water. You're here, you wanna exhale slightly and step back with your feet as if you were skating or something. And you should be in place for demonstration purposes. Didn't want it that far back. So I step one foot to it. Exhale, exhale, hold. Now from here, you want to do the second demonstration of push-ups that I was going to share. But we'll start off with the regulars first. shift to what I wanted to demonstrate. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know anything else you might want to see. Have a great day. Enjoy your afternoon. Peace.